how to get severe weather alerts on your iPhone? Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets iPhone tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn on or enable severe weather alerts directly on your iPhone. So this means if there's a severe weather alert, maybe a tornado warning, flash flood warning, something like that, you'll get a notification directly on your iPhone that it's happening so that you can take shelter if needed. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is make sure that we have the de default weather app from Apple installed on our iPhone. We can check for that by simply swiping from right to left on our iPhone until we see app library. Go ahead into the app library and search weather. And if nothing comes up, then you don't have it installed. And we need to actually open up the app store and search for weather. Now it should look just like this. And as you can see, it's from Apple. Go ahead and get that installed. And then once it's installed, open it up. Now it may ask you for access to your location. I recommend enabling that because that will ensure that any severe weather alerts will be based on your current location. So once the weather app opens up to turn on and enable severe weather alerts, all we need to do is select the menu button in the bottom right. It looks like three lines with some dots. Go ahead and select that. Then this will show you all the different locations that you have saved for weather on your phone. From here, select the three dots with the circle around it in the top right, and then select notifications. Now, the first time you open this up, it's gonna ask you to allow notifications. This is required in order to get severe weather alerts. So select continue and go ahead and select allow. As you can see, it's asking for permission to send critical alerts. If you want severe weather alerts for warnings, go ahead and select allow again. Once we do that, we'll be brought to the notification section of the app where we can start enabling severe weather alerts. So as you can see for current location, you'll see severe weather, go ahead and toggle that on. You can also get real time notifications for rain or snow by turning on the next hour precipitation right there. Additionally, if you want severe weather alerts for any of the other locations you have saved in the app, all you need to do is select those and then toggle them on accordingly. Once you're done, select done. And then now this will bring you back to the app. And anytime there is a severe weather alert in your area, you'll get it directly on your phone. All right, so that's how you get severe weather alerts on your iPhone. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more iPhone tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.